<laughs> What's up, mod and steaders? Now we gotta clean the incubator after all of our chicks hatched out for us. First step, unplug the incubator. The thing kind of gets pretty stinky after you've hatched out your chicks. So I went ahead and I removed all the screws that hold this plate in. There's a couple of zip ties. Bring you in a little bit closer. There's a zip tie here. I'm going to cut it off without cutting into the wires. This right here is the plug for the egg turner. This one right here, I don't know what this is. I don't think it's for the humidifier, maybe for the temp. I just want to just cut all those zip ties off. Then we can remove and wash this whole thing. Let's scrub that up good. Don't know how wet all this stuff can get, but inside it's always pretty moist, so the moisture must not bother it. But our fan gets pretty dirty, so we gotta clean that off. We're gonna clean up all in here, take it outside and hose it off. So right here, it kinda looks like a fan that would be in a computer. Underneath that must be the heater. And then this little contraption right here is the, get this out of your way. That's what turns the egg turner when you have it in. All the components in here must be able to deal with at least moisture anyways, because in here, it's where you keep your water, right here in this trough. There's a hole on the side to fill it. But I mean, the water gets everywhere when it's in here. Because you think about it, you got all the chickens hatching in here and all that slimy, nasty stuff is falling out. The moisture's building up and dripping down in here. I'm going to avoid getting that as wet as possible. The hole right there where all the wires go. Pluto, get out of there. Now I sprayed it down the other day with an apple cider vinegar and water mixture to help loosen everything up and help disinfect it. We're just gonna use a disinfectant combination of vinegar, water, and soap. get some pretty nasty crud out of there. So just make sure you got it all nice and good. You don't want that sitting in there and building up bacteria for the next time you use it. Before I put it all back together, I'm going to let it sit out for a day or two upside down, let it dry out. Then I'm going to put it back together, plug it in, make sure it works. Good morning, modern steaders. So it's the next day. We went ahead and we let our incubator all dry out. We're going to put it back together, plug it in, and check it before we put it away for our next hatching. Take our top plate, run the wire that plugs in the egg turner back up after. And we're going to put two zip ties on this piece. So I just got a package of small zip ties. You're going to need three total. That's back zip tied in place. Make sure when you get your plate back down, and you get the little counter set side up so your screw heads will sit down and flush. If you're using a drill, just go slow. You don't want to go too hard and too fast and strip out everything. You just want to go easy. I mean, you don't got to tighten it very much. You don't definitely don't want to over tighten it. We got our plug here for the egg turner itself. And then we got the wire that we zip tied back up. That's what you're gonna plug in for the egg turner in the lights. But first of all, let's take it back out and show you. This right here, that groove, see that little yellow tab down there? This groove right there is got to fit in there. And that is the motor for the egg turner. The pins on the end, I gotta line up in there, and then on the front has the same. I'm just gonna set this down in place. There we go. You know you have it set in place when everything's nice and flush. If the front's not sitting down good, your pin down there is not lined up, so just jig it around until you see it drop in there pretty good. 
The moment of truth. Is it still going to work? Awesome. It still works. And it smells so much better. If I hold this reset button down right here, we'll make sure the egg turner works. The turner should be moving. We'll reset it. And you can see the tables move, the turners rotating. And then the button right here is for the lights. Whew. We didn't have much luck using these to candle our eggs, but our eggs are brown eggs, so maybe if you had a white egg, they'd work better. But it's they are really nice to turn it on, and you can look inside and see how the eggs are doing before they start hatching and you take them out. It's a pretty neat option. It'd be even better if it worked with the brown eggs. Maybe when we, once we do our duck eggs and they're white, we can see if we have better success using the lights to candle them. The clear cover has been awesome. You can watch the eggs and you can watch the chicks hatching. You got plenty of visibility. And you don't have to worry about taking it on and off to see. The only thing is, is when there's a lot of chicks in there, it fogs up pretty easy. I will be doing a review on the incubator and I'll be going over all the options it has and the pros and cons for us. We're keeping an eye out for that video to come out if you're curious about the incubator we've been using. And in the description below, I'll leave a link to this on Amazon. It is an affiliate link, so we do get a little bit of a kickback from that. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe while you're down there and share the video. It really helps our channel out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres where we're always working on changing our status quo. And we hope you are doing the same.